Hello, students of St. Anthony's School. My name is Brother Tom. Um, so I'm originally from Illinois. Um, I'm actually in Louisiana right now uh, at Archbishop Shaw High School, one of our Salesian schools, like you have Salesian sisters. Um, but I was invited to do a little presentation for you guys today on vocations. Um, and I bet you've heard that word vocations before. Um, if I was there in person, I'd be raise your hand and tell me. Um, but you know, this word means it's a call um, that God has called us to follow him. Um, and we see this throughout the Bible that God has been calling people. He called Adam and Eve and he called Abraham and Noah and David and the prophets. And how in the New Testament, when Jesus becomes man, he calls his apostles. He calls them by name. Um, he calls Andrew and Peter and James and John and Thomas. Um, that he calls them to follow him. And so in a similar way that God is calling you each by name. Um, so he says, John, come and follow me. Rachel, come and follow me. Lauren, come and follow me. So you should be able to hear your name. And Jesus is asking you to follow him as well. So, and what it means that he calls us means a couple different things. So first he calls us all to be holy. He calls us to know him and to love him um, and to share that love with others. So that's the first thing. And we have to live that every single day he's calling us to do that. Um, but he also, he calls people in other ways to the way they'll live out their life. Um, so we have, you've heard of these before, marriage, priesthood, and religious life. So like myself, I'm a religious brother. So I've devoted my life to live how God wants me to. And you have the religious sisters, the Salesian sisters at your school. Um, and I'm actually studying to become a priest. So those are the different ways that God calls us to live our lives. And that's another way that we talk about vocation, that he calls us to this way of life. And so as religious, um, myself and the sisters at your school, we're called to live different vows. We live poverty, chastity, obedience. We take three vows. And so we try to live poor like Jesus did. We try to live obedient to God's will like Jesus did. And we live chastity. So we don't get married. We don't have a family like a normal family, but the church is our family. All of you are our family. And that's why we're called brothers and sisters. Um, and also with religious, usually they have some kind of mission. So for us Salesians, it's working with young people like yourselves, that we devote our lives to try to share Jesus' love with you. And there's other religious groups that do other missions, like serving the poor, um, being teachers at like universities and colleges, um, working with people with different diseases, working as missionaries in other countries to spread the news of Jesus. Um, so there's lots of different types of religious as well. And so I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I heard my vocation, how I heard God's call for my life. Because it can be hard to, first off, know that God loves you. Um, and that's one big thing I want you guys, if you remember one thing from this presentation is that God loves you. Um, and that's why Jesus came and that's why he calls you. Because he loves you so much he wants to be close to you. And that's what this call is. But I wanted to share a little bit of my, how I heard God's call in my life. Um, so I went to a Catholic school just like you guys growing up. And so the idea of the priesthood was always kind of there. Um, and so actually this kind of showed itself uh, when I was in grade school. And so me and my friends at recess, when I was in like third or fourth grade, we'd go out to the playground and we'd be on the jungle gym and we pretended to be pirates. We'd go and look for treasure, we'd have battles, stuff like that. Um, but me, since I'd gone to Catholic school in the priesthood, that idea of being a father, a priest was always there. I was actually the priest of our group of pirates. Um, so I'd bless our meals. And if someone was hurt, I would bless them. Um, and all these kind of silly things as a little kid. But that idea of being a priest was always there. Um, but then I started to get older. And you get to middle school. And sometimes that stuff doesn't seem very cool anymore. Um, to pray and to live out your faith. And so, yeah, I just started to learn to ignore that call that Jesus was had for me, um, thinking about the priesthood or really just his love for me and his call. And so I really stopped thinking about it. Um, but then when I got to uh, high school, I still went to a Catholic school, um, but I had kind of started to hang out with a bad group of friends and I'd get in trouble at school and stuff. Um, and it was in my 11th grade year. Um, at the end of the year, my religion teacher took me aside and said, Tom, of all my students, I see you becoming a priest. Um, and I just kind of ignored it. I didn't want to hear that. I still wasn't ready to hear God's call. And so 
But that idea just kept coming back, like God is calling you to something. And so I went to college and I actually met another group of religious sisters. Um, and these sisters, their mission was to work with college students. And so they helped me in college to learn of God's love. Um, and through that experience, I was able to hear God's call for me. Um, and so as I heard God calling more and more, um, I was trying to really listen to what he was saying, where exactly he was calling me, exactly where my vocation was. Um, and so when I was in college, I was actually studying to be a teacher at a grade school. Um, so I got my degree to teach at a grade school, little guys like you. And so I, I was studying to be a teacher, and that's when I learned of someone very important, um, St. John Bosco. And so I kind of took him as a patron of how I wanted to be a teacher. Um, so you might know some stories of St. John Bosco, how good he was with the young people he would juggle. So they would come and listen to him and stuff like that. Um, and how he would do magic tricks. And so he would devoted his life to teaching young people about God's love. And so I kind of held that call too. So I decided um, I want to live Don Bosco's mission. So I decided to join the Salesians. Um, and that's why I've been with the Salesians now for five years, and I'm studying for the priesthood, and hopefully my whole life I'll get to live out Don Bosco's mission of working with young people like you. Um, so I share that story um, because it takes time to hear God's call for your life. So I want to share, um, as kind of wrap up, some ways, how do we hear Jesus' call for us? Because it can be hard to hear, and it takes time. And so the first thing is you have to pray. So praying is just talking to Jesus. You also have to listen to him as well. It's a conversation. It goes both ways. We talk and we listen to Jesus. And so sometimes it's hard to listen to Jesus. And luckily the church gives us ways. So we go to church on Sunday. And when we listen to those readings from the Bible and we hear the priest talk, it helps us to hear Jesus. He speaks through those things. Another important thing is to read about Jesus' life. So to read the Gospels. Um, so maybe with your family, um, you can read the Gospel each day. Another thing is going to confession, because when we're stuck in our sins and stuff like that, we don't really hear God's call. And so we have to remove those sins through confession and return back to that good relationship with Jesus. Um, and finally, ask Mary to pray for you, because she's our mother. And so just throughout the day, say, Hail Mary, and say, Mary, help me to know your son. Um, you can just say the little prayer that we often say, Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Um, to always remember that Mary is with you trying to help you to listen to Jesus and grow closer to him. And so I hope you all have a happy feast of Don Bosco um, and that you can, I will pray that you might be able to hear Jesus' call for you and ask you to pray for me that I too might be able to continue to follow Jesus' call. So God bless you all. Um, Mary of Christians, pray for us. St. John Bosco, pray for us. Mary Mazzarella, pray for us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you. God bless.